Hi guys, welcome to the second session on how to read data from CSV or text file and put it into the Excel file. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So this video will be in continuation of the session, the first session where we have learned how to read data from the CSV file. So if you have not seen that video, I would suggest you to please watch that video because uh, I will be uh, using the task which we had created in the previous session. So it will be good for you to understand this session completely if you have watched those session, right? So this is the task which we created to read the text file. The first command is to read the text file and the second is to start the loop. And in the loop, we were displaying the message box with the data. So this was our text file from where we were reading the data. So let's do execution quickly. So my execution is started and you can see the first row got displayed, second row, third, fourth and fifth row got displayed and execution completed successfully. Now what we will do, we were displaying the data inside the message box. We will disable it now. For that I will right click on the command and I will disable this message box command. Now what will we do? We will read the data that is star read the text file and start loop. We will read the data but we will write those data into the excel file. So let's see how we can do that. So this is my excel file where I want to read where I want to write those data. So let's see how we can do that with the help of automation anywhere client. So I will navigate to the excel command. So this is my excel command. I will click over there I will expand this and first command I will take as open spreadsheet that is I will click over here and I will drag it to the task section. So this is that window the task window we have opened and we need to provide some information that that is the first information is the session name. So I will give the session name as session 2 as I have already taken the session 1 name for the text file and I will give the spreadsheet path. So let me give the spreadsheet path that is put data dot XLS. Now specific sheet name. So if you are working with multiple sheets, it is uh, mandatory to provide the sheet on which you want to work. And if you are working on a single sheet, as of now I am working on single sheet. So in, in this case, if you want, you can specify and if you no, don't specify, so that's not an issue for, if, for the case if we are working with a single sheet. So I'm not giving the sheet name as of now. So I will click on save button. So I got the Excel command to open the spreadsheet. Now, so I want to read this data and after reading I want this data to be present in the excel file. So how I want? I want like this name, marks and so on for other rows and columns, right? So from where I want to start the data? I want to start the data to be written from A1, right? So this need to be specified. The cell need to be specified from where you want to put the data. So for that what we need to do we need to activate this cell we need to make this cell as active how can we do that let me show you uh, you can see the command over here go to cell right so click on the go to cell command and drag it over here and now this command is capturing the session name as session 2 so that's good it is mapping to that excel sheet which we have taken and the specific cell which specific cell do you want to go where this command is taken as go to cell so where do you want to go i want to go to a1 right this is my a1 cell i want to go here and i want to write over here name 
so go to a1 so once this task once this command will be executed what will happen the task will go to a1 that means a1 will be activated so i will click on save and we have these two commands with us i will move it to the top let me move it to the top so these should not be inside the loop because every time the loop will be executed the uh, it will open the spreadsheet and it will go to the cell a1 but i want to open this spreadsheet only once and to put the to make the a1 as active only once right so as of now what all we have steps open the spreadsheet go to cell 1 that is cell a1 that is this a1 will be activated reading i am reading from the text file and loop is started and these were the variables that is file data column and the index number this is the variable from which data can be captured right so now i will put the data in a1 so how to put the data so for that we have a command for set cell in the excel so i clicked over here and i dragged it over here so in the set cell the session name is taken session 2 that's okay and the active cell where you want to set the data where you which cell you want to set whether the active cell or the specific cell as of now i want to put the data into the active cell because now my active cell is a1 and i want to put the data over here right so that is okay active cell i want to put the data and what data you want to put which what will be the cell value so for that you will press f2 and you have a list of system variables and what variable the variable which we took in the previous session i am using it again so file data column so i will navigate to file data column in case you have not watched that video to how to read from csv or text file please refer to that video otherwise you won't be able to understand completely so please refer to that video so this is the file data column i clicked on that and i clicked on insert and i will give the column number as 1 because in a1 i want the name to be written this one right so name this will be a1 column 1 and this will be column 2 okay so i took a1 because i want in a1 the name to be written okay so i clicked on okay and i got the variable is set now i will click on save so i will move it inside the loop now what once the name is written once the name is written now i want to write name over here in b right so how to navigate to b i won't write b1 because it should it will be inside the loop and once the loop will be iterated this cell will be overridden again and again i don't want any overriding so for that how can we navigate to b let's see so for that again we will use the command go to cell this is very very important command for this session so i selected this one and now what i want to go to do i want to navigate to one cell to right what will happen now earlier it, the active cell was a1 name got written and i want to move one cell to right so i selected this one cell to right and i will click on save right so this again inside the loop and once i am inside this once this cell is activated that means one move uh, give me a second so go one cell right of active cell that means it will move over here and now the active cell is this one b1 is the active cell now so what you want to do we want to write marks over here and how to write marks that is inside the system variable again so i will take set cell to set the value of b1 that is one cell to the right and in the set cell i will take the active cell again and what cell value do you want to give 
again this is the system variable that is file data and now this will be file data column 2 because this is column 2 and this is column 1 everything name tim joy nick is in column 1 marks 95 57 87 and so on are in column 2 so i clicked on f2 and we have system variable list this is the system variable list and i will move to file data column i clicked on insert and i will give the column name as 2 okay so i given that one and i will click on save so what will happen go to one cell right of the active cell and set the value of active cell as file data column 2 so now all good so row 1 got filled with name and marks now i want here to be written Tim how to move to this portion we are over here we are in this me b1 and now I want to move to here so how can we do that we won't hard code that value because that will be inside the loop and any any cell if we are hard coding then once the loop will be iterating again and again and it will be overridden again and again so we will not hard code what we will do we will give the command as move down move to one cell to bottom and go to beginning right so let me show you how we can do that again we will use this command go to cell and i will take one cell below one cell below what will happen it is here active cell is this one so it will move one cell below and now I want to move to the beginning okay so go to cell again and beginning of the row and let me move it inside the loop so why we have not taken let me show you why we have not taken one cell to left since we are here move below one cell below why we have not taken move to left because we are taking only two columns as of now there can be other multiple number of columns maybe x y z there can be multiple of columns in that case what will you do if this cell is active and you want to come over here in that case what will you do you will uh, this is the active cell you will move one cell down and if you click on uh, if you take the command as move one cell left it will come over here only but you want from here to come here that's why we take move to the beginning of the row right so this is my commands got ready and now once the data will be put inside the excel sheet i want to close that excel sheet so for that i will click the command as close spreadsheet and I took it over here and session name is given as session 2 nothing need to be added so I clicked on save so all good I will delete this one and I will close this file so that the task will open it again it by itself and it will write it into there right and since we are closing spreadsheet there is no as such command to close the text file once the task is executed the text file is closed by the task itself so looking good let me save the task and let's start the execution let's see whether the execution goes successful or not so let's run it so execution got started excel got opened and yes my execution is successful this was my excel file and the task uh, sorry the data it read from the text file and it put into the excel column excel sheet so in this way we can read the data from the text file or csv file and we can put the data the read data to the excel file so that's all for this session and if you have any queries please put into the comment section below and i will try to solve your queries Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.